I wanted to address the question, does MCT oil lead to higher levels of cholesterol? And the answer is a big fat no, it won't. In fact, there's some studies that show that it will lower your cholesterol. Why? Because it can increase your bile, increases the bile flow. In order to increase bile, you need certain fats. So bile is essential in dealing with excess cholesterol. It helps to break it down and actually push it through into the intestines and out through the body. Virgin cod liver oil is 55% MCT oils. And there's some data that shows that it too can potentially lower your cholesterol. Now, other studies will show that MCT oil and coconut oil uh, won't increase it or decrease it. It has no effect. So, you know, it really depends on the other variables. But what happens to the MCT oil once you consume it is it breaks down quick, it goes right to the liver, and it turns in the ketones to give you energy. I always recommend MCT oil uh, in the transition phase as you get into ketosis um, to help you fast longer. So some people put it in their coffee. It's very satisfying, so your hunger will go down. It also will help give you more energy, specifically more brain energy and less brain fog. So if given the choice between glucose and ketones, the brain will go after the ketone. And so when you take MCT oil, you're going to feel like your cognitive function is better, you have more endurance, and you'll need less naps. And if you're exercising, MCT oil can help you go longer because you'll have more energy. Let's talk about some really amazing benefits using MCT oil. First of all, what is MCT oil? It's a medium chain triglycerides. It's a unique oil that will not just turn into ketones very rapidly and give you energy, but it has the ability to bypass certain digestive processes as compared to other fats. So in other words, you don't need bile from the gallbladder to help you digest MCT oil. It just goes straight in so you can use it. So it has the ability of spiking ketones. Now, a couple um, drawbacks to MCT oil. When you first start consuming it, it could give you um, some digestive troubles or pain in your abdomen. So you always want to consume small amounts, maybe a half of a teaspoon at first, and then slowly go up to a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon. The other challenge is that it may have a laxative effect on you, uh, but for most people, it's a very mild thing. Despite all the positive things, when you consume MCT oil, your body is going to turn that into ketones, not necessarily your own body fat. So it may slow down your weight loss, but it's a really good thing to start out with to allow you to do intermittent fasting, especially in the morning. So when you put in your coffee, for example, you'll be able to go a lot longer uh, without having to eat. So it's very satisfying. And the last negative thing about it is that it's a refined product. It doesn't have a lot of nutrients. So it basically is used for fuel. So in addition to MCT oil, you wanna eat healthy too. You don't wanna just consume MCT oil to get you in ketosis without you know, considering all the nutrients that you need. All right, that being said, what are the benefits? Well, first of all, you're gonna have a better brain function, especially if your brain is damaged and you're having uh, Alzheimer's or uh, epilepsy or uh, Parkinson's, the ketones generated from MCT oil will penetrate the brain and you'll have better cognition, memory, focus, concentration. Okay, number two, increase energy. Um, so you're gonna have more energy, especially in the head. All right, so that's a good benefit. Number three, better lipid profile. Because MCT oil has no carbohydrates, despite it being a fat, you're gonna find it doesn't increase insulin and your cholesterol is going to look better, the LDL is gonna look better, the HDL is gonna look better. Now, number four, lowered blood sugar. So this is really good to help stabilize uh, someone if they have, if they're a pre-diabetic or diabetes, or they have insulin resistance. So it's gonna help your blood sugars. Why? Because the body's gonna be running on ketones, not blood sugar. So it takes the stress off the pancreas. All right, number five, reduced hunger. This is a huge benefit. Your hunger's gonna go away, and it's gonna make doing this program a lot easier. So I always recommend it, especially in the beginning, just to increase the uh, time between meals so you can fast longer. Number six, 
decreased lactate that's generated after exercise. So if you're an athlete and you need endurance, what will short circuit that is the amount of lactic acid and lactate that is produced. And that's gonna cause a problem with cramping in the muscle. So if you can run more on ketones from MCT oil, you'll be able to um, decrease this and have more endurance. So your performance will be much better. Number seven, decrease epileptic episodes. So if you have epilepsy and you're getting these seizures, ketones will bypass the part of the brain that's damaged and you will reduce these episodes. All right, number eight, improved cardiovascular function. If you have congestive heart failure, angina, atrial fibrillation, any problem with the heart, especially the heart muscle itself, ketones from MCT oil will bypass the damaged heart cells and feed the heart ketones directly and your heart will be very, very happy and it'll function better. All right, number nine, it decreases the symptoms of autism because there's usually some damaged part of the brain that is causing this problem. And so by adding ketones, like I said, with this point right here, if you have Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or autism, taking ketones will be very beneficial to help reduce the symptoms. All right, 10, MCT oil has antimicrobial properties. So if you have candida or some viruses or um, fungus, this would be the thing to do. Now, as a side note, when you consume coconut oil, it has lauric acid, which is really good for the immune system. So if you had a microbial problem, you might wanna do just straight um, coconut oil because it has uh, some benefits uh, from something called lauric acid and it has additional medium chain triglycerides that would benefit you. All right, number 11, MCT oil has anti-inflammatory properties. So it's gonna help reduce inflammation. Ketones are anti-inflammatory. Ketones are, they act as an antioxidant, so it's gonna help you. And that's the next one. It gives you antioxidant properties, which is gonna counter the free radical damage. 13, it's gonna increase the mood. So not only are you gonna improve the cognitive function, but your overall mood will go up because your brain is happier. 14, increase the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins get absorbed um, with other oils and fats that you consume. So if you were to take your cod liver oil, for example, or any type of fat-soluble vitamins, whether it's vitamin E or K2, while you're taking MCT oil, this MCT oil will help the absorption. It will also help the absorption of the DHA and EPA. Those are omega-3 fatty acids. And 15, taking uh, MCT oil will make the transition into a full ketosis much smoother because it'll give the brain more ketones and you're gonna have less brain fog and it'll allow you to transition smoother because sometimes when you transition over, especially like the first day or second day, you're not gonna be in 100% ketosis. You'll be like 30%, 40%, 50%. So taking MCT oil gives you the ketones that will make you feel like you're in 100% ketosis. All right, there you have it, the 15 benefits of MCT oil. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.